They are the largest land animals on Earth, weighing as much as six tons and measuring up to 7.5 meters long. Despite their size, African elephants still find humans to be their greatest threat. Tens of thousands of these animals are killed every year for their ivory tusks. Researcher Lucy King, head of the Human Elephant Coexistence Program at conservation group Save the Elephants, says that poaching is devastating animal populations across Africa. But another major concern is human wildlife conflict. When elephants raid crops, it causes financial loss to the farmers and potential harm to the elephants. And as the human population grows, other issues follow. The population in Africa is increasing exponentially and the land space for elephants and other large game is shrinking exponentially. Um, corridors are being blocked, infrastructure development is coming up and so I believe the next big challenge for elephants is going to be conflict and that interface between actual farmers and elephants is the one that we're working on and we feel we can do something with. So she did. King learned that when elephants hear this sound, this is how they react. And so the Elephants and Bees Project was born. King and her team worked near Kenya's Savo East National Park, where they helped 22 farmers build and maintain beehive fences, which consist of between 10 and 21 hives, depending on the size of the farmer's plot. The hives are strung along the periphery of the farmer's crops to deter the elephants from crop raiding. The team monitors each farmer's hives carefully taking notes on each one and also working with the farmers to determine the elephants' movements in the area. Local farmer Charity Mwangome, who built her fence in 2012, believes all the buzz. It helps a lot because if the elephants come in and they see the fence, they stop and don't come into the farm. They instead go around. But the beehive fence, which King says has about an 80% success rate, doesn't just help with keeping out the elephants. It also provides farmers with another means to generate income, through honey production. And for farmers who are on average making $300 per year, less than a dollar a day, the 30 to 50% income boost makes a big difference. Research Center Coordinator Matthew Rudolph says the biggest problem is just keeping up with consumer demand for the honey which he and other staff members process here at the center. People pick it up as soon as it is jarred. Which promises a sweet future for farmer and elephant alike. Jill Craig, VOA News, Voy, Kenya.